So I'm June Medio, I'm a digital developer at Lexen. So I'm part of the uh, digital innovation team. Um, and today I'm here to talk about adding real-time voice search with Instancer.js. Pretty cool subject, right? Um, so a few words about Lexenso, my company. Lexenso is a legal publisher. We are publishing books and legal magazine uh, about laws and justice decisions. Our main product is Lexenso.fr, which you see here. Uh, it is a document database uh, for professional with a search engine. And guess what? It is with the super algorithm. Uh, <laughs> The, the main purpose of uh, Lexenso.fr is the knowledge database for lawyers and notaries, uh, basically. Uh, it is a professional tool for day-to-day -day usage. Uh, it is also for non-geek customers, that's how I call them. Uh, it is easy to understand because our customers doesn't test a feature, that only use it or not, depending on if they understand it or not. So in June, I just received a little newsletter from Algolia who told me that 50% of search will be through voice by 2020, which is very important because you already know that maybe uh, your own customers have a Google Assistant or maybe Amazon Alexa in their own, own home. So it is a very important subject. So we thought that, yeah, we may be have to do something with it. So we wanted to add vo voice search to our main website, lexenso.fr. It is a website, so you have to be uh, for the web. You have to be for cross-browser because you have a lot of customers and they actually use Internet Explorer for, uh, for a little of them. Uh, <laughs> and it, maybe if you think uh, about progressive web apps, you can understand that you have to be compliant everywhere. So uh, uh, we are looking for a speech-to-text provider. So here's the list of three of them that are selected. They are all compatible with uh, the web. Um, you have Google Cloud Speech Tech Service, uh, Microsoft Azure Community Service, and also IBM Watson Speech Tech Service. So technically, little details. Uh, Google doesn't provide any STT SDK, so you have to build your own with their own technology that Google love to do with is gRPC. So you have really to have to do everything that you want to do, uh, and basically your own. So kiss kiss Google, I love you. Uh, Microsoft Azure it changed the endpoint and all the stuff in September, so it just changed for a while. Uh, but basically, they have no open source package, and they are based on web sockets to send the audio. Uh, you also have uh, IBM Watson with speech text also on web sockets, but they have an uh, open source package. So you, can, you can follow the release and all. You have support from developer. Woo, community. No, no one. OK, right. Uh, I didn't mention uh, Amazon Transcribe because it isn't in real time as you, for now, actually. Uh, and it, it isn't, it, they don't have an SDK for the web, so we don't select it. So let's get started with IBM. Why IBM Watson? Because IBM Watson was pretty impressive. As you may know, our clients are lawyers and notaries, so they have a very special requests, very special keywords. And Watson was pretty impressive with that. You can customize it, you can send him uh, your own keywords and all, and he just understand everything. So was, that was pretty cool. So how do we do this? So we started with instancer.js connector. This uh, provides you the, the, the possibility to uh, extend your actual widget. So that is really, really simple and can act for the search. So if you just receive the, um, the, the result from uh, Watson, you can just uh, ask for uh, the connector to refine the query, simple as that. So basically, it is a very tiny connector between IBM Watson and Algolia, so kind of middleware. So you can find it here, all right. Uh, on GitHub, it is open source, of course. It is open to the community if you want to maybe push something, if you want to do pull requests of everything, just just go check it out. It is on lex.so slash Watson, Watson, sorry, dash connector. 
it is very simple to integrate it in your own website. So first you just import it just after you just go to the configuration. This is basically almost like what uh, Algoia do with their own widgets. So that's very, very simple. Uh, Watson require a token to be sure that it is you. So this, this one here, you have an, an attribute of token URL, which go fetch the token for you, just have nothing to do. But you have plenty of other uh, function here uh, if you want to do your own um, and just start using Watson. So a little feedback about uh, Watson. Uh, when we implement Watson Connector on our main website, we face a little problem. Uh, in fact, uh, for a couple month, a month, we work with uh, IBM Sport to really understand why is we have such a problem. Watson returns us very bad uh, transcription, and we didn't actually know why. But now today, I can tell you why. Um, in fact, while the its widgets of instant search is re uh, re um, uh, re rendering the page, sorry, um, the actual uh, WebSocket audio just stop. And why after the its widgets just uh, have finished it, uh, well, Watson just keep go uh, receive the uh, the audio. So basically, Watson doesn't have the entire audio at the end. So just have bad transcript which is kind of logic. So nobody is perfect, right? We are working on it. We are trying to figure out what is really happening. We are not exactly sure there is the hits uh, widgets. The thing that I can tell you is that if you download the demo uh, on our GitHub, it actually works. So we don't know exactly why. Uh, <laughs> it's based, maybe based on the, the template. If you have a huge template, HTML template on your hits widget, it maybe have some, you know, something to do with it. So we are working on it. So we have to find an alternative to this. So we actually know that 50% of our users Yes, or use Chrome and not Internet Explorer. So we find a new solution with this. And so uh, I developed a second connector, which is the, the alternative with Web Speech API available only on Chrome, on Google Chrome. I don't know why Firefox doesn't have it, but you may ask them. Uh, so it is actually uh, available on NPM, on Yarn, and also on open source and open to the community on GitHub. So here, just in a real uh, example of what we have on our search, just you click, you speak to your own uh, alone with your own computer, uh, and just magic happens. So we will launch this feature in a couple of weeks, maybe, maybe more, um, maybe early 2019, because we are not very uh, satisfied, because it is only available on Chrome, and we want to integrate with Watson if we can. So that's it. Come on. Uh, so if you are still interested by the voices, you have to know that Algolia is working on the subjects. You have two repo on Android and iOS for the voice overlay. So just check it out, algolia.com slash solution slash voice dash search. Thank you everyone for listening and remember, Keep doing something great. <laughs> if you have any questions. Thank you very much, Julien. We have time for some questions. Question, question. I'll be around with a beer. Mm. Yeah, everyone will be talkative <laughs> with beer. <laughs> ah, we have one. Can I speak in this? Uh, just regarding your comment about Firefox, uh, there's actually a Mozilla project called Common Voice. Yeah. Where you can donate your voice. Oh. And uh, create a speech to text model for everyone. Oh, yes. right. Okay. I didn't know that. Nice. Another question. No more question? Okay. Well, Here. thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot, Julian. <laughs>